Hey guys, Mars Tenken here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so we've had the data download today on both versions of the game now, uh, giving all of the information and details about the stuff that is going to be releasing for part three, which does start tomorrow. Um, basically around this time, some of the stuff will be out. I think the EZA releases at the same time as the Future Gohan, where some of the events came out. Um, at one time and then some of the events came out like two hours later but basically it's all going down tomorrow uh, tomorrow night if you're in the US tomorrow morning for me in the UK so shout out to Proton for the data breakdown here now both versions of the data download contained basically the same stuff however Global's one contained something that you know, maybe they put in there by accident because you know how they uh, they do these things sometimes, right? Where we get to see sticker assets for a character before an EZA is officially announced or something like that. Um, things will get put in the files that we are not meant to see yet. And something uh, very big has been included in the JP and the global one. So I will cover that in a moment. So I'm just going to have a quick scroll down and I'm not going to spend too much time going over this because the JP one did come out a while ago. Um, so there's a new intro movie. Obviously, we have the new story event stages. Remember, the uh, STR Trunks is getting his uh, EZA, the free-to-play one. The INT one is getting an EZA and is going to be getting a stage in their story event that gives unique uh, EX skill orbs. Then we have the EZA area for the Android slash Cell Saga, which is where you get the medals for one of them. And then the Extreme Z area for the Zero Mortals plan. These are both existing Extreme Z areas that get new stages added to them. But obviously, they are to get these medals to EZA the two free-to-play play trunks units so that's all uh, coming out tomorrow and uh, this is at 7 a.m uk times so this is basically around the time that my early stream usually starts if you're familiar with that schedule um then the support memory boost so this one's quite interesting so the support memory boost we knew that this was getting a new stage because this was in the news but we did not know which support memory it was going to be so it's going to be the trunks and mys reunion so if we switch over to the uh, slightly more zoomed out view there we go so trunks and mys reunion this is the one all allies attack and defense 10 percent for two turns from the start of the turn when there is two or more time traveler allies on the team so this is getting buffed um, i didn't see the information about what it's getting buffed to but this is actually very useful because for people who do use items and support memories and stuff, which I know is most people, remember the new red zone stages are very difficult straight away from turn one. So having, because I always thought these old support memories where they just gave you a boost for the first couple of turns were kind of pointless, right? In the older style of events where they were fairly easy at the beginning and got more difficult at the end. Whereas these are going to be really useful for some of these new stages, right? Where you really need that boost right at the start and then your units can build up a little bit and then hopefully they're going to be able to stand on their own after that so that is uh, definitely very very good uh, be interesting to see what it goes up to uh, then we have the um, so the Alma red zone dismal future stage five is versus fusions of masu um, this comes out at seven as well then we have two new stages for divine wrath and mortal will same time uh, God's Wrath and Human Will. Obviously, this is uh, going to be, I think, Infinite Zamasu. Or no, it'll be Corrupted Mode Zamasu, right? Because we already have just base, like, pure Fusion Zamasu. Um, and then Sword of Hope Trunks will be the last boss. Then we have the EZA. Um, so yeah, I was right. So the EZA, just like with the day that the stuff came out with new events and Future Gohan, this EZA comes out two hours later than the other events. So the Int Goku Black EZA, his weakness is Goku Family. So I will do a uh, team building guide for that as always. Um, which should be quite interesting. Obviously his EZA seems very disappointing, but... You know, 34 free stones, I guess, by doing the EZA and the missions. And then there is going to be a chain battle. So we mentioned this yesterday when going over all the new events that were in the news, that part three of the Worldwide Celebration last year had an extreme, uh, had a um, chain battle, but this one didn't have one announced yet. We are going to have one. So it's versus base Goku Black and Zamasu. So obviously I'll do a video more details about this, like when it actually comes out. Uh, then we have the support memory. So this is the support memory from the red zone, right? From beating the final fifth stage that's going to come out. Um, and it is one of those permanent buff ones by the looks of it. As well as the way they've been doing some of these newer ones, there's a temporary extra buff as well. So Worldwide Chaos gets a permanent 10% attack and defense buff. And then for seven turns from the start of the battle, um, any units with Zamasu uh, or Goku Black in the name, basically, receive uh, one key. So, not exactly a crazy extra boost, but, you know, still very cool. And then the support memory, this is from the uh, story event. Um, 
When there is an enemy in the Time Traveler's category, for three turns, Realm of Gods, attack and defense 10% for all allies. So again, this is kind of like the Trunks of My Reunion one getting a boost if you're running the Extreme Team versus any of these newer stages where you're fighting Trunks or Vegito or anything like that, all of your Realm of Gods uh, units are going to get a buff. So basically, most of the Zamasu and Goku Black units, right, I know on Zamasu's team you often run units like uh, Piccolo Jr. and stuff like that, but the Realm of Gods allies will all be getting a buff, so that is very, very good. Um, and then here's the medals. Oh, it does actually list it here. So it's for three turns, uh, you get one key and 15% attack and defense. And then time travelers get an extra 5% as well. So this was this was always quite a useful support memory because you had to have two time travelers on the team, but then it was all allies were affected. Um, so this is still the same, right? Two time travelers, all allies get a buff, but then also time traveler allies get a little bit of an extra buff as well. So this is really good. Uh, then there's a new wallpaper as well. Um, I don't know how well this will show up if we just open it up. It's a little bit zoomed out, but... Yeah, it's not bad. When you consider the Dokkan like framework, right, like the t your title card at the top and then all the stuff at the bottom, this will probably fit in fairly nicely, so that's pretty cool. Uh, unique titles tied into the thing. New equipment asset. Pretty sure we've had dodge and de is there a dodge and defense all exists already, right? And then there's a bunch of the assets. Now, the big thing that was not in this data download for JP that has been found in the data download for Global, and that is this right here. <laughs> LR Rose is getting an easy A. Uh, now, this was just found in the files, the image for the event. Now, I don't think last year the Worldwide Celebration did not have an EX part. So I don't think there's going to be an EX part or like a part four. So that means this is coming out in part three as well, potentially. But when in part three? That's the question. Is this going to drop tomorrow with everything else? Because all that was in the files, it seems, is this. Just the banner for the event itself. Now, if judging by last year, the Worldwide Celebration basically takes up the whole of September. So this could still easily just come out in like a week's time or something. And they're going to tweet out the details and, you know, officially reveal it within the next week. But this is in the files for Global, according to Proton. Unless this is all a massive troll. I'm pretty sure I saw someone say Dokon Assets did confirm it as well. But yeah, LR Rose actually getting an easy A. Now, after how they fumbled the int transforming Goku Black, I don't know if I am super, super confident about this because this guy, I mean, he greatly raises defense on both supers. So that's obviously going to be good. Hopefully with an easy A, he gets like greatly raises attack on the 18 key or something as well. Um, or maybe even stacks attack, who knows. Uh, and then he gets start of turn stats, which are obviously quite low. But he gets 6% attack each time key rises by 1 up to 120. So as long as you're getting like full key with him, he's done, he is getting a big attack buff. I remember when he first came out, for a little while, Truth was on a mini crusade of uh, saying that he was better than the fifth year fusion like anniversary units on release. Which I think most people eventually settled on, including him. The fact that that wasn't quite true. But he was putting out some crazy numbers at the time. So definitely would be very interesting to see what they could do with this guy. Unfortunately, he does have the finishing blow mechanic, which gives him two key for each finishing blow. Um, finishing blow mechanic sucks, especially in the newer content where a lot of these red zone stages and stuff have like two phases. So you can only get one finishing blow anyway. So... That's kind of pointless. And then he recovers 6% HP at the end of the turn in which he receives an attack. So obviously they could put that up a little bit as well. Um, just bump up his stats. And uh, I don't know, he could be interesting. But after the int transforming Goku Black, I'm certainly not going to get my hopes up. Um, and then he has a rage mode active skill. Can be activated when HP is 66% or less starting from the 6th turn. Now this is an active skill. So the condition cannot change. So that is unfortunate because a lot of these fights you're probably not even getting to the 6th turn. Um, now, if you are, I suppose, to be fair, some of the harder red zone stages like the versus Goku Black and Zamasu, um, you can get to turn six, right? If you're not blitzing it with a team of like all the best LRs in the game. But you also have to be on 66% or less HP on a team where not only this guy, but a load of the other Zamasu units are all healing you as well. So this is probably you're probably only ever going to see this proc if you're going into turn six or onwards and you just took like a big super on the last turn. Um, and then you're in a situation where <clears throat> you're potentially in trouble because you're on low HP, but you're going to be below 66%. 
and then you can go into the rage mode. Now, if you can get it, the rage mode will be super useful because just like a giant form, it means it cancels out like the enemy super attack. If as long as they super attack you during the rage mode, when you come out of it, they won't be able to super attack you on that turn. You can't take any damage. And um, I mean, he does get extra key per key sphere and is super effective against all types. So it's not like his rage mode is going to do no damage, but... You know, it's probably not going to be too crazy. But there you go. That was the data download. Um, everything we kind of knew and expected coming out tomorrow at the similar times as last time. 7 a.m. UK time or 9 a.m. UK time. So I will be live pretty much all morning tomorrow going through doing all the new content. So make sure you guys come and check that out. But yeah, global data download spoiling the uh, LR Goku Black EZA. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. How would you do LR Goku Black's EZA? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one